oh yes, a garden in London, the child represented by a garden in London court. The garden in London, the guardians do represent children uh, in court, they're supposed to represent children in interest. So experience of uh, what we found in the family law society with our case load is that NIAS guardians often misrepresent children in the NIAS and they have no control over these people. They are seen as terrible experts, their word is law, and, and it's a nightmare. I tell Mike to go to hell. Uh, please, uh, the young lady there. You have some experience, you were saying, in the, um, is it the part of the system model? Yeah, when we showed that, it was, I was given the option of living with an aunt or my mother. And what age were you then? Six or seven. And you think you were old enough to make the decision about that age? It could have been asked in a normal fashion, yes, it would have been a lot better than what it was, but people would tell me, You'll get this if you lose your round. You'll get the other. You'll get the other. And I got a little child. I didn't have much at all. That sounded good. So I, I refrained from asking my question. But I need an expert right. to, to make that decision. Well, I'm going to say the following. In my case, I've been in Germany, I've been in France, in the US, and England. And like he said, the guardian in those countries, classes, social services, work in a different manner that they want to call. This is absolutely not right. But how old is your child? That's I started when I started to work with her. And how old is she now? She's, I don't know, I don't know if it's her. They took her away to her friends. Right, okay. But like I said, it's totally different, completely different. Completely is what you call more than you have. I've had experience on my starting, and she is absolutely your worst nightmare. She, my children, both and my son and my daughter, my son is 15 now, and my son and my daughter couldn't interact with her. Luckily for us, we have friends who are uh, appointed as well. And I can only say, I mean, I'm going to get, I also had a really bad experience prior to this, because this has been going on in my life for 11 years, with another psychologist who was dire. But when Ren came in, without him, I can honestly say, I think I told you the boss of my children. Because this woman had it, I mean, you know, she had it in for me. Was it Claire Sturge, expert witness? Sorry? Was it one of the big high feminist expert witnesses, Danielle Glazer or Dr. Claire Sturge? No, 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 I only have friends in this story. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, point, the point is, these guardians are not qualified as women. The social well, workers aren't qualified either. They're not qualified in my opinion, in anything. A social worker assistant can ruin you. Excuse me. The question started off with yeah. the friendly alienation at the age of... Uh, yeah, but it also went right to... He, he, he brought up, he was gentle and brought up about the guy in my life. And I thought, I'm fine. I'm saying yeah. I've had yeah. experience of the fact that they cannot do their job. I'm sorry, what is, who, who, what is your position on this? I'm going to the Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which I've got to say, who did the Family Law Society? Who's doing very interesting? Just to be fair, what do you think about? No, Family Law Society is an international society. Um, we've got most of the committee members are here today. Yeah. And all the new members, we've got one or two of the new members have turned up. Uh, one of them gave a speech that was done. Um, Mark from, from the, who's also the uh, chairman of the main Pine Chapter. We've got quite a few organisations that are actually members of the society. Are there committee as well as men or is it men? No, we've got, we've got women as well as men. In, in and are any of the women represented here today? Well, we've got Chrissy here. Yeah, well, this is part of it. Yeah. So, uh, and we're looking, for, we always look for more members. So, uh, if you want to join as an ordinary member, and if you want the advice of the family law society, the advice is free. We don't have to make a charge for it. And we can certainly help you raise your individual concerns with MPs and other um, uh, uh, But what could you actually do for us that we are, haven't done ourselves? I mean, uh, I'm not being funny. I took on a law course on Open University and I'm not educationally subnormal. And I, I bang out quite a few emails, you know, a campaign for kids in closed adoption to have access to stem cell donors 
you know, and I think that's important because my kid ain't been adopted. But never mind all this PAS and everything else. Where's, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, where's these kids' chances of getting the, kit, the cases opened? And them getting access to, you know, to life saving medicine? A chance? You know, I was told that there's been a creditable group in, a, in America been going on for 10 years trying to open the cases of kids that have been adopted because when they're adults and they're dying, they're on the internet and they're going looking for a stem cell. I went to my doctor and I said, yeah, I like, I, yeah, that man's looking. Yeah, yeah. Because the end case is the kids are getting lost in care. The serious, serious end scenario is the, the husband doesn't get the kids, the mother doesn't get the kids, the kids get lost, the kids are commodities, let's face it, let's face it, we all know that the same just the way we have one child away. Back, please. What? The chairman would like to take the meeting back, please, because we have a question over there. Miscarriages of justice in the criminal courts. We want someone independent looking into our 